Okay, so there's this guy, right? He used to be a friend of my old man's. He's got options and all kinds of stuff. He's connected. He calls in favors now and then to other guys who know other guys, who know other guys, who do things for other guys, and those other guys do things for those other guys, and yeah, he's money. Filthy rich in all respects. It just so happens that I work for the guy. I do things for him, he does things for me, everything comes up roses, nice cupola of Fran and Ollie, happy kind of life. I live where I want, I eat what I want, I, I buy pretty much what I want, and I do what I want, and I got no complaints, okay? My guy's old money, you know? Old money, old proclivities, and just, uh, well, <laughs> he's just old, you know? But he's one of those guys, like the old movies that got the, the swords hidden in the canes kind of thing. He looks like crutches, and he moves like crutches. But there's this well-oiled machine in the crankcase, if you receive my meaning. He is whip-smart. He is savvy. He's the old school kind of quick. And I get there, you know, when he offers me as usual. It's great stuff. Forty-year scotch. The best around. <laughs> then he's asking me about my day, my life, how I feel about the cattle jockeys kicking the kings in the butt, and I am loving it because, hey, this guy does me right, you know? We're laughing and we're having a good old time, chewing the fat, going back and forth, yada, 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 ding, 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 when he out of the blue asks me why I had to go and screw everything up. Yeah, I know. It blew me away, too. I'm like, what are you talking about? And through the next few minutes, that mouth thing happens again, only this is all bad. I mean, this is real bad stuff. And I realize, okay, I made an erroneous error in judgment on my part that one of the places I went the day before, it had something of a, of a mutual import involved. And one of the things I attended to wasn't really mine to begin with, even though I was under the impression that it was. And hey, the old guy ain't happy. No, sir. Not happy at all. I tell him I'll make good. I tell him I'll get it all fixed right on up. It's no sweat. I mean, this is my job. I'm prepared for the contingencies, you know? I've been doing it long enough. I tell him I got his back. And then he tells me it ain't his back I should be worrying about. Dignity, self-respect, and the truth. And you know the truth hurts and all that, but you can't just let it go. They gotta see it, right? You gotta break down the ignorance of the world. Time I'm done getting to the root of it, he's got nothing to say in the deal. He's got nothing to say at all because you know why? He gets it. And you know what? It's all good. There are no hard feelings. Yeah, it's like the old days, he says. When men were men. And they settle their differences like men. He gives me a nod. He gives me his blessing. He gives me anything I want to make amends. And as a token of his respect, he hands me a bottle of that 40 year scotch. Yeah. For me, that's a reminder to do good by him later on. Is a good man, generous guy. He gives me some of my best opportunities. <laughs> yeah, opportunities. I better go check on him. Hey, I was listening to that. I'm sorry, Eddie. Your mom and I need you to come in the kitchen for a minute. Eddie, we have a surprise for you. Surprise for me? Uh-huh. Come on. We have all. All right.
Settle down, Eddie. Settle down. You're an adult now, remember? No, yeah. more, no more acting like a kid. The legislature's in session today, honey. Uh, so I've got to go. Will you have Mom help you with the tie? Yeah. Okay. But you didn't have any breakfast, dear. I'll pick something up at the Capitol. Good luck on the new job. Mm. I know Look, you'll Paul. be great. I know you'll be great. Love you. Love you, too. Oh, well, hello, Miss Lettersee. Let's begin. Everything is fine, Elsa. Your sonogram shows that your baby, the baby, is developing just fine. Because of the trauma, Elsa went into premature labor. And there were some complications. The umbilical cord was wrapped around the baby's neck. And we performed a cesarean successfully. But the baby was oxygen deprived. Now, all of his vital signs are normal. It's a boy. Yes, the baby is a boy. How is Elsa? She is just fine. <gasps> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> you just don't know what I've been through with that girl. <laughs> uh, this is the young man who accompanied your daughter to the hospital. Gary, James, and Laura, everybody, this is Joanne. We have got to make some changes, and we've got to make them quick. How can we better improve our results on salvage? Oh, hold on a second. I talked to two of our vendors a couple days ago, and they said returns are down. I agree. Returns are down all over the country. You know, I was at a conference just last week, and the speaker said the weak scrap iron market is depressing salvage values nationwide. Yeah. And I hear what you're saying, but I still believe that the answer to improving our numbers lies in salvage. Well, I'd have to disagree. There's not a lot we can do. Yeah, we've been doing it this way for years. After all, salvage is what it is. Thanks to Copart, it seems there is another way. I have to agree. Copart generates higher returns on salvage. By increasing their exposure. And creating higher demand. Well done, Joanne. If it's okay with everyone, I'll clear all calendars and head this project up. I'll get Copart on the line now and set up a meeting ASAP. It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before. Chained to jobs they hate by health coverage they can't afford to lose. They'll struggle. They'll grovel. And just generally get on. You call this foam? As their pursuit of the American dream becomes an American nightmare. But with Senator Ron Wyden's Bipartisan Healthy Americans Act, a new day is dawning. A day when good health coverage for all is guaranteed. When you can leave your job and take your health insurance with you. And a day when Americans across the nation could have the power to rise up and exercise their fundamental American right to take a job and shove it without losing the health benefits they depend on. Support the Healthy Americans Act. Because whether you're in a job you love or one that makes you want to jam your head in a paper shredder, health insurance that's affordable and portable makes anything possible. <laughs>